assembling the AP10. Now we want to start assembling the AP10. First, we can install the four propellers on their corresponding motors. Separate the propellers into clockwise and counterclockwise groups. The counterclockwise propellers have a black cap and need to be mounted on the motor that have a P on the arm. Use the wrench to secure the motors so it won't turn while you are spinning the blade counterclockwise to tighten the propeller on the motor. The clockwise propeller have a silver cap and can be mounted on the same fashion on the remaining arms without a P on them. We will now install the battery. Press this button to see if the battery is fully charged. If it isn't, it needs to be charged before use. The battery compartment door is at the back of the aircraft. Insert the battery into the compartment like this. Remember to lock this lock switch in order to lock the compartment door. Finally, we will assemble the remote control with the smartphone holder and the repeater. First open the battery cover and place four AA batteries. The repeater is used to extend the range of the aircraft's Wi-Fi so we can operate the AP-10 with smartphones. Line up the holes on the repeater device as well as the remote control and then use a screw driver to secure the two together. Last but not least, line up the smartphone holder like so to mount it on the remote controller. You can now switch the power on to check if everything is working. The full headlights on the arms should light up and after 5 to 10 seconds, the tail light should turn off. The installation of the AP-10 has now been completed.